Shane here, and I live in Gateshead Hall. I live with my aunt and my cousins. Ugh. I'm gonna get you, Shane! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Shane is such a nasty cousin. Ugh, why is she so annoying? Why does she even have to live with us? Jane, I want you to go to the Red Room this instant. You have been a naughty child. I don't want no buts about it. I want you to go right now. Why? Why do I have to have such a cursed childhood? Why does no one love me? <laughs> There's haunted Ooh. spirits in here. <laughs> Mrs. Reed, you should send Jane to a boarding school. Oh, Mr. Lloyd, you are so right. Besides, then I can get rid of Jane. I don't like her. She's such a nasty so child. Fun. I'm so excited to go to boarding school and get rid of this awful life I'm living. Boarding school is not what I thought it would be. Hello, I'm Mr. Brocklehurst, the headmaster. I'm very generous to these poor orphans. Hey, you there. What are those cows? What are those cows? I don't care if they're natural. I want you to chop them off right now. Chop them off! I only want straight hair. Cows are a sin. I'm so miserable here. Hello, I'm Helen. Hello? You must learn to have talents. You must learn that you do not have to fight back against the evils of Mr. Brocklehurst. You're orphans trying to find our <coughs> home. <coughs> and that will be Heaven. Jane, I'm dying. Jane. Oh wow, look at that. Mr. Brocklehurst is gone. And Lowood is a much nicer place now. I need to do something. Hmm. Why don't I apply for a job? Oh look, I got a job. Some crazy place called Thornfield Hall. Hmm. Never heard of it. Well, off I go. Yeehaw! <laughs> Hello, Jean dear. I'm Miss Fairfax, and I am greeting you to Thornfield Hall. You'll be teaching all that French girl in the town. Ugh, my horse. I need help. Help. Anyone? Anyone? <coughs> I'm hurt. I fell off my horse. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Help. Whatever. I'll help you. I don't really know what to do. I don't really ride horses. Ah, uh, who are you? Uh, you must be the new governess. I am the master of this house. Yes, I'm Mr. Rochester, and I'm depressed all the time. Don't really talk to me unless I talk to you. Goodbye now. I think, I, think I, I like Mr. Rochester. <coughs> Is that so weird? This is weird. I, I have, like, feelings for him. Ah, Mr. Rochester, Mr. Rochester. Your bed is burning down. Here, let me help you. Woo! Ah! I'm on fire. Jane. All right, the fire's out now. Jane, don't tell any of the servants about this. Try to keep it a secret. Uh, hello there. I am Blanche Ingram, and I am beautiful. I and my friend sees are coming over to Mr. Rochester's house a lot because, well, don't tell anyone this, but I want to marry him because he's super rich. Jane, take a walk with me. I want to tell you something. I love you. Will you marry me? Um, I thought you liked Blanche. Actually, I was just pretending to like her to make you jealous. Yes, yes, I will marry you. Oh, kiss me, Jane. Oh, yay. I'm getting married. I'm getting married to Edward Rochester. I don't care that I'm only like 19 years old and he's not like 40. Does anyone have any objections to this wedding? Anyone? Anyone out there? Well, in that case, you may. You Wait. Stop the wedding. Stop the wedding. It is not legal. Mr. Rochester is married to someone already. I can't explain, everyone. Come up to me with my attic. See, that is my crazy wife. <laughs> I'm Bertha. Bertha. I have to leave. I can't look like this. I can't.
him with like this. I can't be married. He wants me to elope with him, Mr. Rochester does. But I can't do that. I can't do that. I left all my food. I left all my money. Wait, I left everything. I don't I don't know where I am. I'm dying. Oh no. I'm so dead. Uh, uh, help. <coughs> Anyone help? Any you call <coughs> women. Let me help you. There'll be a call to help sick and the suffering because I'm Sinjin. I'm the minister at the town. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, thank you for whoever helped me. I'm so weak. <clears throat> Jane, since you are healthy and happy again and you have been sitting in my house with my cousins and I reading books for a long time, I have decided you can get a job at the local school. Oh my gosh, thank you. That, 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 that would be great because I have nothing else, so I'll take this gold off. Don't worry. Jane, I have news to tell you. Your uncle died and left you 20,000 pounds. Sweet! But wait, how do you know this? I'm actually your cousin. I have family. I've always wanted family. All right, we can split up the money. Yay! I'm so excited. Jane, I want to be a missionary and I want you to marry me. Uh, Sinjin, I'm your cousin, so why can't I go with you as your cousin or your sister? Um, I don't want to be married to you, I don't love you, and you're kind of weird. Right, that's sad. Well, I guess I tried 50 times for you to marry me. That's alright. Well, not really alright. I'm really upset at you, Jay. I thought you were better than this. Jay! Jay! I hear him. I hear my Rochester. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna find you, Mr. Rochester. I love you. Hello, Jane. Seems like you found me. Is that really you? You're some figment of my imagination. Oh, Jane, I'm blind. Someone set fire to beloved Thornfield Hall, my home. And my wife, Bertha, I can't even call her my wife. She was gonna die so I had to save her from the fire and then she ended up jumping off a building so she died but now I'm blind oh Mr. Rochester I still love you and I want to marry you I do I do I do oh Jane I want to marry you too the end and that was my life full of adventure and I braved it through as an orphan and found my family oh yeah and Aunt Reed she died <laughs>